really the only thing I really want deep down in my soul is to find a snake. Over here! There, there is a snake. There's a snake in this log. We found a snake. I don't know what kind it is at all. We're trying careful about extracting it, but it's in here. It's in here. There is a snake. We're going to show it to you. I'm, we're, that's, we're going to find it. Aloha! <laughs> Aloha! Man, show me up. <laughs> I, said, I, had this. Great. I know enough Hawaiians that I hear it quite a bit, but I feel a little... Oh, you got... I, no one ever asked me to do it back. Except for in groups. You know, the whole group will do it back. We've got the Aloha Spirit Clan. So we've made it down to St. George, which is the south westernmost part of the state. It's evening time, so it's cooling off. It was hot, hot, hot down here. We've also added, oh. We've added beautiful scenery. We've added a hurdle. Hartle has joined the crew. No big deal. So these guys are going to pick up some supplies, grab some water so they stay hydrated. Here, let me close the door. I'm all right. set. No, okay. No, I'm not going to the store. I'm staying out in the parking oh. lot. I really hope we find some of you guys out there tonight because uh, the herping so far has been definitely hindered by the heat. So the awesome thing is that it's nice and cool now. Not 100 degrees, but these rocks are nice and warm and toasty. Hoping, hoping, hoping. Climbing, climbing, climbing. Now, I've said this before, I'll say it again. Even if you don't find anything when you're out here, it's just amazing to come out and be in the majestic beauty of Mother Nature while you're trying to find these cool animals. It's, look at this. Like a little slice of heaven out here. So I'm seeing all kinds of cool lizards on this wall, but as soon as I get somewhat even remotely close to them, they run into the cracks of the rock. dark and I've wandered pretty far past the other guys so I don't really want to head back <laughs> that's a long way back I'll just keep going forward totally toad life well, we've moved on to the road cruising portion of the evening and first thing we came across is little toad he just dug out of whatever dirt he was underneath I don't know what kind of toad he is but you guys are gonna have to go watch either Garrett's channel or Dave Coffin's channel, or Clint's channel, and one of those guys is gonna tell you what this little toad is. But you saw the toad here first, because these guys are gonna take forever to put their videos out. And he, he literally, he just dug out of the dirt and was crossing the road, and now he's over here safe off to the side, so. And here comes a car right now. Look at this, big old uh, tow truck or whatever is gonna probably crush this guy if we didn't stop right here and get him. I don't know that. Sure we're okay. Yeah, yeah, we're good. All right, little buddy, I think. It, does, it looks like a spade foot. It's probably some Spadefoot Awesome Toad Hybrid. Spadefoot and Awesome Toad Hybrid. Yeah, you heard it from Garrett Hartle, folks. Spadefoot something, Spadefoot <laughs> Hybrid. We He's a save, save from squishy. Job of the wrinkle butt. Yeah, saved by the squishy. Save from the squishy toad. That's what we'll call you. These guys are looking in their books over here so they can figure out what it is and then act like they knew without having to look in the book. That's right. That's how we roll. Well, dude, we found our first herb. If we hadn't found anything, I'd have been okay. I've been having a good time out here so far, but since we found something, absolutely it solidifies Road our cruising. existence. Totally worth it. Direction that he was heading, we're gonna. So we're gonna let him go in the direction he was heading, and then we're gonna finish. <laughs> so we're gonna let this guy go in the direction he was heading, and we are going to cruise back down this road. <laughs> Six in the morning. We've been out all night. I didn't sleep. I didn't touch a bed. Clint didn't touch a bed. Nobody touched a bed. Nobody touched a bed. I, <laughs> I actually didn't touch a bed. <laughs> 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 Driest 
driest conditions ever, and we found an amphibian. That's a good point, Dave. Yeah, no, weird. Just and weird, and weird. and nothing else on the road. That's the key. Yeah, nothing on the road. Not a single thing on the road other than that one what toad. Very cute. But we're not giving up yet. The sun's starting to come up. We're going to try and find some... Coffee! <laughs> Coffee! <laughs> <laughs> Yep, that's what we're dealing with now. Yep, they're headed the right direction. Well, Davis. Yes, sir. Worst case scenario, we don't find anything. What then? Find a hotel, get some sleep. Coffee. S sleep and coffee. Gotcha. Coffee first, then Coffee sleep. first, then sleep. Here we go. Hey Clint, can I ask you a question? You may. What do you know? What do I know? Sometimes it seems like not a lot. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't seem like that to most of us. Well, unfortunately, it doesn't look like we're gonna have much success today with finding any kind of lizards or snakes to get our hands on and show you on the camera, but this is where I like to take a moment and reflect and be thankful for the perspective, the perspective that I usually have, which is having a good time out here in a beautiful landscape with some great friends and just enjoying ourselves. I could bitch and moan about how far and long we had to travel to come out here in hopes of finding something like this, but it's not what I like to do. Life's too short. Having a good time. I hope you guys enjoyed cruising around with us, finding nothing, and <laughs> except for the toad and some collared lizards that I couldn't quite get my hands on. You guys have yourselves a great day. Take care of yourselves, take care of each other. We'll see you. You know what, we're not done yet. This video might be over, but there's more adventure to come. Whew, I was just doing my little time lapse. And then Dave interrupted my time lapse, calling my phone. But he called me to tell me that he found a desert tortoise. So we're going to go and see the first tortoise, the first reptile we've seen in the wild on this trip. I don't feel completely useless on this day or trip because I just found, they found that other tortoise, but I found my own tortoise. Look at that. That's a big, 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 big tortoise. How many nerds can fit in a semi-circle with cameras? How many nerds can <laughs> get in my shadow? <laughs> <laughs> What? <laughs> Garrett's saying he doesn't understand why people like vlogs. He doesn't like filming them. He doesn't like He's what? Comment He's... below and explain to me why you would ever watch people like Brian Casio on TV or myself or anyone for that matter. He said this whole trip has been worth one picture so far, not the hundreds and thousands of pictures we've been taking every second. No, video. I, just, I feel like he could like capture everything, the essence of the trip in one picture, enough for someone else to be like, oh. You're in Utah with those guys. You know what I mean? Well, I already took that picture. Now this is my journey. I'm trying to get away from you, but you're following me through the brush. I did this with Hillary uh, when we were first dating. I went through the hardest trail I could possibly find, <laughs> see if she could keep up with me. And now you're doing it too. Please don't marry me. For real, we're done this time. This is Garrett Hartle. I'm Brian Cusco's vlog channel. What, how's the rest go? My name is Garrett Hartle, and this is Brian Cusco's vlog channel. <laughs> we'll catch you next time.
This is the vlog that never ends. Yes, it goes on and on, my friends. Some people started herping and they thought that they were done. But then we went back out into the blazing hot ass sun. This is the vlog that never ends. Yes, it goes on and on, my friends. Some people started herping and we got out of the heat. But then we came back into it to find you something neat. <laughs> <laughs> We've come to a place called Lytle Ranch, which is a place that Clint used to herp when he was younger. And so we're hoping this spot is going to turn up some stuff. And I'll be honest with you guys, haven't found a snake yet. And really the only thing I really want deep down in my soul is to find a snake. Fish shadow water. This is kind of a special place for you, herping-wise, yeah? Oh, yeah. Can you tell us a little bit about it? So, this was one of the first places I came, like, with an actual person who knew good places to go herping. And we just caught all kinds of rad stuff. Uh, I, You know, I've, I've always remembered it. I've come back to places nearby that I've heard are even better. They've never touched it. And honestly, even though we haven't had great success on this trip, like, first thing I did came, flipped something over, Side blotch lizard underneath. I think it's, it's a, a good, good omen. sign. Good omen. good omen. Possible, possible. Anybody has any better thoughts? Let us know. Let's see the back uh, pattern if we can. Like okay, so. pinch his uh, fore uh, foreleg in between your fingers so it holds him. There we go. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. He's got a much lighter pattern. We got a lot of tiger whiptails up north, and they're much much darker. This is a glorious little lizard. Yeah, it sure is. Pretty, pretty smart too. Oh, they're so smart. I've, I, I, I kept them early on, a little bit, and you know they were the ones that would, there, there'd be something that would be in an area of the enclosure that they couldn't get to, and they'd go around the other side and dig a hole and pop up right where the food was. Wow. And they, they you know, they drop food and they'll come back to it and pick it up later. So the four of us surrounded this bush to catch that lizard and. He ran eventually right between my legs, and I actually, if you check this out, <laughs> that's where he was headed. I, that happened today. <laughs> There, there is a snake. There's a snake in this log. We found a snake. I, I don't know what kind it is at all. I'm just trying to be careful about extracting it, but it's in here. It's in here. There is a snake. We're going to show it to you. I'm, we're, that's, we're going to find it. Over here. I don't know what kind it is, but it's in this log. It didn't go anywhere else. It's not going to get anywhere else because I can. The colors are too bright. It was like orange. I'm sorry guys, I'm super disappointed in myself for not being able to locate that snake after I saw it. I crawled under the log and it just like disappeared behind some... There's all kinds of leaf litter on the ground. The entire ground is covered with leaves and I don't know, it just got away. It was like an orange, peachish color and they're telling me it was probably a coach whip. <sighs> Never seen one of those before, but I'm just going to walk back through that area now. Right, guys I can't really tell you how absolutely disappointed I am that I lost that snake when I tell people that I a snake on a day herping is a gold star that I put on the board like it really is like that's the best way I can describe like how absolutely happy I am when I find a snake out herping and to have seen one and been that close to getting my hands on it and being able to show you guys and have it get away it's kind of I don't know if I can 
there's nothing that, that can cure that feeling except for finding a snake. So if I find one, I'll come back, but otherwise, this vlog's actually over for real this time. I just put my feet into the creek. Oh, it feels nice. Oh yeah, I know. Yeah, what a way to end your vlog. We still love you. <laughs> and I got a toad. You got another toad? Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's really, if we find a snake, I'll come back. Otherwise, we'll see you guys on the next one. Bye. Ha <laughs> ha